Hi all, welcome to the best of CAD series by IMS and today we are going to look at a question on logarithm. Kindly give it a try and then resume the video. So in today's question it says that x is a real number and they have given you a root of logarithm of let's say 4x minus x square by 3 to the base e is a real number if and only if. Now we know that in case the function need to be defined the term inside the square root need to be a positive number or you can say equals to 0 it can't be a negative quantity. So for the function to be defined can I say one thing over here the term inside the root happen to be the logarithm term so one can say log of 4x minus x square upon 3 to the base e I want this term to be more than equals to 0. It can't be a negative term inside the square root since then value become imaginary. What about the next possible step? The next possible step will be as we know that log of 1 happens to be equals to 0. So one can say 4x minus x square divided by 3 should be more than equals to e power 0 that basically becomes equals to a 1. If I now cross multiply by 3, I will get 4x minus x square more than equals to a 3 and let's now take every term on the right hand side. So one can say 0 will be more than equals to x square minus 4x plus 3 which I can rewrite as x square minus 4x plus 3 less than equals to 0. The next possible step for me to will be figure out the factorization of the number x square minus 4x plus 3. It's a simple one. 3 into 1 is 3 and 3 plus 1 happens to be a 4. So if I do the middle term factorization, I get nothing but x minus 1 into x minus 3 less than equals to 0. So now you can say it more of let's say become a question of quadratic inequality over here. So now all of us know how to solve this type of situations. So what value of x will make the expression equals to 0 and the obvious answer has to be the critical values which are 1 and 3 in this particular case. So for x equals to 1 expression becomes 0. For x equals to 3 expression becomes equals to 0. If I say x is more than 3 in that particular case both my bracket are going to be positive. So on the right of 3 we have positive. Definitely there has to be a sign change around the root. So can I say in this particular case between 1 and 3 expression will be negative and on the left of 1 again there will be a sign change and the value becomes positive. So all of us know that for a quadratic the graph is going to be an upward opening parabola whenever the coefficient of x square is positive. It will be downward opening parabola whenever the coefficient of x square happens to be negative. So here if I look at my required range should be nothing but the value of x because I want the expression to be less than or equals to 0, one can say it will be true in the region 1 to 3. And that's why your answer for this particular question will be option number 3 here. So a straightforward sum, those who understand the uh, concept of domain over here and now one can try a similar question, the replica question and you can put your answer in the comment section.